now you've walked into the inner office. This is where you're going to do your audition, you're going to meet the powers that be, maybe a lot of people, maybe one person. Okay, first things first, how do you enter the room? You know what would be great? Is if you could walk into the room like your comfortable self. Just like a normal person, not like a pent-up actor who's got too many things on their mind. You walk in, you say hello to the people. Just easy, simple. I'll tell you what you don't do. And I'm going to bring this up, even though some of you may say, well, that's kind of obvious, but I recently saw some auditions where six in a row did this. They walked in and gave a disclaimer, like right off the bat. Uh, one of them said, I just got this. So my, uh, my agent was late giving me this. I just got the sides. I just broke up with my boyfriend. And she was in tears. Yeah. Well, what's that supposed to do? What are we supposed to think? We're going to watch their audition and then imagine how much better they'll do when they get over their boyfriend breakup? Is that how it works? If you were a dancer and you went to a dance audition, would you say, uh, yeah, my knee's a little weird, but I'll give it a shot? Because you know what? We're going to be thinking, how often is this chick's knee weird? I mean, that's just how it goes. If you give me a disclaimer when I first meet you, I'm going to think you're someone who is constantly disclaiming their work. So that's not a good way to go ever. Frequently, you'll be asked if you have any questions. Here's my favorite answer. No, it's my favorite answer. I say, do you have any questions? And you say, no, it's beautiful. Let me tell you why. Tick tock. We're in a hurry. I mean, you see how these offices are. Now, it doesn't mean that we don't want you to speak or that we don't want to have to answer your questions, but I would just say to you, make sure you really, really, really have to know the answer. Because the most favorite actor in the world walks in, comfortable self. They look happy, secure. We say, do you have any questions? They say, no. We say, are you ready? They say, yes. And then they do it one time really well and they say, thank you for your time, and they leave. Again, it's not because we don't want to answer actors' questions. It's just that, you know, it'd be terrific. Think about it this way. If you had an excellent actor who did great work on this side and asked questions, and then you had an excellent actor on this side who never asked questions, which one would you like to use? Well, you know, you're going to want the one that doesn't ask questions. Why? Because, you know, time is money. We're trying to make a movie. Keep it short, to the point, ask a question only if you need the answer. Be sure you need the answer.